Hello everybody, it's Yami and today we're going to be watching a Gacha Life horror story. This story is called Rakuro Kubi and it's by Yasmin Reyes. I'm going to have a link to their channel in the description so do make sure to go over there and check them out. But this story is based on Japanese folklore about a creepy woman who's been cursed and has now turned into a monster. Rakuro Kubi is a type of Japanese yokai. They look almost completely like humans with one of two differences. There is the type whose neck stretches and another whose head detaches and flies around freely. The Rikuru Kubi appear in classical kaidan and in yokai works. Well, I'm very excited to watch this story. If you guys are too, leave a like on the video and let's get into it. We are setting the scene right now with some anime. I absolutely love when the gacha creators do this. Oh my goodness, look at that fox, so cute. But it looks like we're in the middle of a woods and it's a beautiful day to be honest. I mean, apart from that creepy looking bug, gross. So we have a guy who's just chopping down some trees living his best life out in the woods. That poor tree has just fallen over and he's collecting some wood. Oh, he took the entire tree with him. This guy has some serious muscles. I need to find a shelter. Yeah, it's raining. You go find somewhere to take shelter. A house. Oh, his hair's all wet and it's all like falling down. Love that. Is anyone home? Doesn't look like there's anyone in. Also, he has guts just walking into someone's house. He doesn't have permission. He's breaking and entering. Food. And he's even eating their food. Who's there? Yeah, I would be wondering the same thing if I came into my house and there was a random guy sat eating my bao buns. I would be pretty upset, to be honest. You ate my lunch. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm only here to find shelter because the weather is so strong outside. Sorry, I trespassed. I think I should go. Oh, her stomach is really growling there. It's quite loud. Wait, just stay here. If you go outside, you'll catch a cold. Really? Thank you. Oh, even his stomach is grumbling. It looks like you're still hungry. Do you want me to cook some more food? Okay. I'm Kaitu. What's your name? I'm Kubi chan Are you the only one living here? Yeah, my parents died when I was 12. Then I became lonely. That is so sad that she's practically had to raise herself. She must be so independent. We're both in the same situation. I'm also an orphan. My parents died because of an illness. Months passed and the landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. And I journeyed to find some work. The only job available is woodcutting, so I worked as a woodcutter. My master didn't give me enough salary. Ten minutes later. Oh my goodness, why does she look like that though? <gasps> Her head! What's happening? This must be a dream. Oh my gosh, guys. That is something from my worst nightmare. Stop. Are you okay? Does he look okay? I'm not okay after what I've just seen. Guys, if that freaked you out too, let me know down in the comments because I have never seen anything like that before in a gacha. Her neck was so long. It was like a giraffe on steroids. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just having this weird nightmare. It smells good. What is it? It's fried human. I mean pork. Um... I think she slipped up there and she revealed what she's cooking, which is apparently a person. Not a strange at all. No, no. Boy, you need to get out of that house and you need to leave now. Itadakima, he's preparing to tuck into his fried human. It tastes good. You're a good cook. You're the first person who said that. My victims, I mean my customers, they've never said that to me. Wait a second, does that mean that she cooks her customers and makes them into food? And then she feeds it to the next person who comes in? That is awful. Thank you. So, you own a restaurant? Yes, but it's very far away from here. Eat it before it gets cold. Have you eaten yet? It's okay, don't worry, just eat. This is very creepy, she wants him to eat up. Well, she's just gonna stand there and watch him. And that's mainly because she knows what's inside. This guy is full of appetite. I wonder what his flesh tastes like. Eat more. She's telling him to eat more and he's literally eaten seven bowls full. One hour later. Ah, I'm full. My master will be so angry at me that I didn't finish my work. Can I sleep here? Yes, of course you can. I have another room just for food. I mean visitors. How is he still trusting her when she slipped up so many times? She's already said that she has victims and that she has a room for food. 
aka people that she's going to eat. This is your room. Promise me you won't make a mess and you must respect my furniture. Okay? I would not be sleeping in this house. He seriously doesn't know what he's getting himself into. 12 p.m. It's midnight and she's come into the room. What is she gonna do? Oh no. She's transforming again. He's a daddy mask. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. She's licking him. It tastes good. You're a good cook. Thank you. She's remembering that he complimented her. And now she's decided that she doesn't want to eat him. I'm such an evil person. I think I should thank him rather than killing him and devouring him. Oh wow, she actually had a change of heart. She doesn't want to eat him because he's the only person that's been nice to her. So he survived and it's the next morning. Now imagine if he would have woke up in the middle of the night to a snake lady licking his face while he's trying to sleep. He would be terrified. Good morning, Kaitu. I made some breakfast. Where are you going? I'm going to go back to my master's office. He's going to be mad at me if I don't show up. No, don't open the door. Why? Because there's a flood outside. A flood? The flood is that bad, it's sweeping the trees away. What are we gonna do? We're both underwater. Who's gonna save us? We'll die here. Stop being such a coward. We're not going to die. We're lucky. The walls of my house are tough. I wouldn't say he's being a coward. He's just scared of the fact that he's opened up the door and there's a literal river going down the street. I would also be scared of that. And I think any normal person would be. But she's obviously not scared because she's not a normal person. She's a Rokuro Kubi. A scary Japanese creature. These walls were made by the most skilled workers. Let's eat before the food gets cold. Please don't tell me she served him some more human. Four weeks later and the flood has gone. Oh yeah, slowly going down. His master is going to be seriously angry that he hasn't shown up for the past four weeks. Kubi and Kaitu fell in love. How? How has he fallen in love with a snake lady? And they started confessing their feelings to each other. Oh no, this poor guy has no idea. Then they became sweethearts. You know, I'm kind of happy for her. She has had a horrible life, but she also eats humans. So am I really happy for her or am I scared for a boyfriend? Two months passed. Kaitu, where are you? Oh, I forgot. He's at work. What is she up to? Where is she going? Whoa, what is that? What is that? It's glowing. Is she up to no good? She's opened up a basement and what in the world was that? Whoa, she got sucked down there. Where is she going? Is this like the underworld? It's a giant creepy eye. <gasps> it's hell. Yeah, this is absolutely terrifying. Who are those guys? Where is she going? Does she have some like secret meeting she has to attend or something? This place is giving me very, very bad vibes. Who is that? There is a silhouette of a woman in the window. She's a very large woman, apparently. Look how big she is compared to the Rokuro Kubi. Kubi, my sweet rice cake. I've been waiting for you, my dear. Come with me. Let's have some tea. Now, is the tea perhaps human flavored? Because I have a feeling it is. Also, that girl can jump. Oh my gosh. There is like a whole skeleton band going on here. Literally is. Singing some weird song with red glowing eyes. I do not like this. Very, very creepy. Also kind of a vibe though. What is going on? These creatures are huge. Also, are we never going to get to actually see who the silhouetted woman is? Because she is staying hidden. She does not want to be seen. And I think that was a skeleton butler who serves the tea. Tell me, my dear, is he tormenting you? No. Good. Good. They're just chilling, eating some sweets and drinking some tea. And did you see the way she drank that tea? She slurped it up from the cup. It was very strange. If he is, I'm going to torment his dreams. No, it's the opposite of that. He makes me happy. You know, my child, you also make me happy, even though you're not a real child. My son, Kagukuchi, is never here to spend quality time with me. Thank you for always visiting me, my dear. You're welcome, mother. What is this relationship that's happening here? It's like a fake mother-daughter thing between two Japanese scary creatures. I'm not here for it. I do not like this one bit. One hour later, they're still drinking the tea, which looks like blood, by the way. 
But that candy looks delicious. Oh dear, I'm late for my other appointment. Sorry, Kubi, I have to go. Even Yokai have a busy schedule, you know, they've got places to be. This poor guy is coming home and his girlfriend, who is also visiting hell, is missing right now. Kubi, where are you? Maybe she's at her restaurant. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's in a secret trap door under the house that connects to hell. Whoa, you just fell over something. What was that? A lever? I do not think you should pull that. Don't do it. Oh no. It's opened up the door and he's going down. You are not going to like what you're about to see. Oh my goodness. Don't go in there. Your boy is shook. What the heck? There's human meat hung up all over the basement and skeletons. Now he's thinking back to the night where he first met her and he was eating all of the food. He's connecting the dots. Eat more. Oh no. He was really tucking in, wasn't he? Eat more. Yeah, he ate like seven bowls of that. Oh no. <laughs> he's literally turned green. Oh, he's been sick. To be honest, I would too if I found out I'd eaten a person. This poor guy. He's like, shut the basement and run. Yeah, you need to get out of there. Hopefully she doesn't appear. Uh-oh. What has he seen? She's back. You're home. I don't think he wants to be home though. Not after what he's just seen down there. I want to show you something. Wow, to be fair, she has a really nice bed. I look so comfy. What do you think of my new kimono? It's beautiful. But why are you dressed like that? You forgot? It's our second month anniversary. We've been together a long time. And because of that, I'm going to show you what I really look like. Oh no, I think she's about to transform into her long necked version. I don't think he wants to see that. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's actually happening. Oh no. And he's also being licked by her right now. This is very strange. Boy, run. Yes, you are ugly. I would never say that about anyone except a terrifying Japanese demon or whatever she is. I ugly, hideous, horrifying. Tell me. He is biting her neck to try and get out of this. To be honest though, I'd probably do the same thing if I was trapped inside of a neck and I couldn't use my arms. But when would that ever happen to me? Probably never. He is running faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait. Oh, you want to be careful because he's holding an axe, honey. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. Forgive me. He ended her life. He seriously did that. No. Oh, wow. Somehow the creepy mother sensed her daughter's death and she's fallen down the stairs and smashed her mask. No, Kobe. Are you okay, Lazy Izanami? To be continued. Well, guys, that is where this story has ended. And oh my goodness, I think this is the scariest gacha I have ever watched. There is a part two to this, guys. So if you want me to react to that too, let me know by leaving a like on the video. And hopefully we're all able to sleep tonight without thinking that we're going to be woken up by a creepy snake lady licking us at midnight. Because that's what I'm going to be thinking now when I get into bed. Anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy that. And if you'd like to watch another video from me, you can click here and let's go watch it together.